Why does a dog chase its tail? Why does the sun rise after the moon goes down? So one of the things that I think can add value to polarization is duality. Duality is explored quite a lot in, <clears throat> or I'd say Taoism, in, in the Tao Te Ching. So, and one of the premises I was kind of reflecting on was um, like our thoughts, for example, and our body and our mind, synergistic, you know, they work together symbiotically, like nature, for example, a plant's roots could have a bacteria that digests things easier, so the plant can get more food and the bacteria gets to live, they both get to live. We cannot hide from the synergy of the mind and the body, like the moon and the sun. They're an allegory for the human, always moving to get a better view of each other, failing to realise that they have infallibly moved, never able to catch an eye of each other, like a dog chasing its tail. Man is no different in his thought. Analyzing his thoughts, what do they mean? What does that mean? This is the cycle of birth and death. So, yeah, we we try and chase our thoughts and, oh, it has to have a meaning. and Yeah. And, it, yeah, it just causes unnecessary stress. As I'm walking this path of solitude... I mentioned the idea of healing. I'm fasting to heal my skin, my physical body. But by focusing on the form, I neglect the formless, the mind. Being aware of how I perceive my present moment will dictate my future. And if I don't program myself or direct myself in the right action, right mind, then why would my body heal? So the example I kind of thought about here was uh, with, with a horse. So a horse will only run if, you know, if you give it a kick. And if, if I'm the horse rider and I'm blind, then the horse isn't going to know where to go. So in that metaphor, I mean... We are the horse rider. The mind and the body is the horse. So the body just does, whereas the mind's thinking. But if you're blind, then how can you steer your horse? So just become aware of this duality of mind, body, you know, night, day, masculine, feminine. It's same with polarization. You shift to one and then you go to the other. You get really angry. You know, you've gone very masculine and then suddenly after, you know, you relax. And now you're in the, the feminine way, like we way just relaxing. So, yes, be aware of your mind and what you're programming it with.